Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Oh no! It's not! It's not! Take two. Oh my gosh. All right. Hello everyone. Kathy Zilski here. Welcome to my new studio. It's I have not done that since I've been up here, so it must be a special day. This could be a sign that everything I'm about to do is going to go completely akimbo. And what are we going to do? You know, it's, it's going to happen. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Ruth, so much. Welcome, everyone, to my studio. I'm still, you know, it's it's like I go on autopilot and then I'm, yeah. If you are catching me for the first time, my name is Kathy Zilski. This is where I make things. And here is my YouTube channel. Today is a live stream. Everything you, that I'm doing is live. So just like the opening, if I make mistakes, well, <laughs> ah, there's there's no editing. There's no editing. So welcome to everyone who's joining. It's great to have you here. Hopefully I won't do anything like accidentally, you know, close off the live stream or cancel it somehow. I've done a few things. Hey, Deb, good to see you here. But it's great to have you all here. And yeah, I haven't. I haven't done it in a long time. Also, yes, the hair, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I've always, since I've had long hair, I spend money on hair products. Well, I've done it ever since I've had hair, short hair. And I'm going to tell you my latest secret discovery. I borrowed my son's shampoo, Head and Shoulders. Head and Shoulders smells great, makes it look fantastic. Okay, let's get into what we're going to do today. Does that sound good? I'm going to go down to the table and show you what we have happening. Now, I did some die cutting in advance. I just didn't want to spend the whole time die cutting. And I got these new products from My Favorite Thing Stamps. And I knew I wanted to do something with them. And so I did some pre-cutting of the things. And kind of excited about it, actually. Uh, so there you go. I also, my nose is starting to run, which happens every single time I'm live. Okay. Hey, Mira, it's great to see you here as well. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, Linda Horvath. Head and shoulders smells so good. Now, I will tell you, I grew up in a house with head and shoulders. My dad used it. My mom used it. I think I used it at certain points. And uh, every time my daughter, who also uses it, comes over, I'm like, your hair smells so good. She's mom. It's head and shoulders. So I am I'm using that shampoo now for a little while. Instead of going, you know, the whole high-end whatever, there we go. So there you go. That's what happens on a live. We're going to talk about our hair. We're going to talk about, well, who knows? Let's just, let's just get into it. So I have this stamp set from My Favorite Thing Stamps, and it's this it's this typewriter. And I, I don't know if you've seen anybody doing things with it, but it's super cute and I wanted to use it. And Mindy, I, I don't, are we getting a, I don't think we're getting a huge storm. You might get more in Wisconsin, but yeah, I'm ready because I'm not going to shovel. Um, but I wanted to do something with this. So I went ahead and cut out some pieces because, okay, two things. I have the little stamps that go with it. These are the little typewriter sentiments and friendship. They are so cute. Like it's just, oh, I think this is adorable. I just bit my tongue because I'm just too excited. But I also have an idea. Now, I have to show you these. Uh, I learned about these from Christina Werner because she had used them in a video recently. And I'm actually, okay, because my my moderator's not here, I'm going to say, I got, I got a notepad here. Let's go link to... Kay's video. She did a really cute video where she did these little drops and she used this paper from Craft Consortium. Now they are all sold out. I literally ordered the minute I saw her video because she's like, Kathy, you got to check it out. So cool. And they are the coolest papers. Like I, I don't know if I've seen a prettier, I'm going to look at that, pattern paper and it's got like marbleized looking glitter, not glitter, but like it's got a shine to it, although it's not like coated. They are absolutely dreamy, dreamy. Now I have picked a paper. I stuck my little, that's a plug for my favorite coffee. M36 Coffee Roasters from Michigan by local. Okay, um, I, I pulled this out because I really love this paper. 
And I think I am going to incorporate this somehow into this card. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, they look like alcohol ink. Thank you, Mindy. That's that's totally what they look like. But they are gorgeous. And I'm sure, again, when Christina does something and, you know, uh, all links, by the way, little stamp and bug, will be in the YouTube description box. So if you're watching on a TV, I don't know how to get there. But if you go to your computer or a device, you can always go on the more and find where I list all of my products. And those are the links. If you shop with my links, you are helping my channel because they're all affiliate links. I get a small percentage and I thank you and you help me stay on YouTube. So thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. So now, welcome again. See people joining. Glad to have you. This is what I'm going to do. I already, oh, no, don't do that. You might need that. So I've already done the die cutting. So we're going to do a little gluing. Let's make a typewriter, shall we? Um, this does not come with the magnet, but I just had a little sheet downstairs so I could put it all on. One thing I want to point out is there are two little, well, this friend right here, you can create a slider and you can make it come up if you have like the little things to do sliders. I am not going to do that today because, eh, you know, that's a little above my pay grade for right now. But, you know, I said never say never. I never did an action wobbler. And now look at me. I, I, I did one. I did one. I did that. Okay. I'm going to bring this in for now. I'm going to set aside the pretty paper. But look at that. Isn't that just like, I mean, I just, I've had it out on my, over to the side. And I just look at it every day. And today was the day. So I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to bring in some micro dot sheets, I think. I think I'm going to do some gluing with these because they're not messy. You know, um, I do like this. And so I'm going to grab a sheet of the Simon micro dots. And I don't, I don't think I linked this in the supplies, but when I am done with my live, I will check my little list and I will make sure that I update the things that need to be updated. Okay. So... Here we go. Now I, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna start out here. That's my little typewriter base, and I think what I'm gonna do is, well, you know what? I'm gonna take the keyboard, and I'm actually gonna stack these together so that my keyboard has a little dimension. In fact, let's let's zoom in a little, shall we? Look at that smooth zoom. Oh, oh, I love it. Uh, so let's do that. Let's take a little corner here and open you up. Come on. See, it has, it's like a, oh, I guess it goes that way. Yeah. It's like a little, you know, it's like Xyron type of thing, right? And uh, I'm going to take this piece here and where's my bone folder? I'm going to do a little burnishing. I'm going to do a little burnishing. I'll go like that. And I'm going to try to remember not to just keep putting things in the same place because then it, you know, won't stick. All right. And yeah, I did that on the right side. Now, see that? See how the sticky's kind of going? Oop. All right. Now, I'm just going to line this up on top of this. Oh, I hope I get it right the first time. <gasps> Nailed. Nailed the landing. 9.7. Okay, so we're going to push that down. And now I'm going to come in a little bit further right here. And we're going to add some here. Yeah, this is how they work. Isn't it cool? I, I, For certain things, I think this kind of adhesive is just quick and not dirty. It's just quick and awesome, you know, because then, but you just have to make sure if you're, that you don't try to overuse an area and then you end up without adhesive. And I have actually done that where I thought I was putting something on and I didn't. Now, can you see on here? Yes, you can. See that little outline? So this die cut puts those little outlines in there for you so you know that is where my keyboard goes. Isn't that cute? Now, you can take the extra steps here, right? You could make I mean, it would be really cute to have like a rainbow colored keyboard. You could do whatever you wanted. I'm going to leave it super neutral for the card that I'm doing, right? Oh, you can, Barbara. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Literally, that's what, what side did I use? Did I use this side? Thank you for reminding me. I'm just going to go like that. <laughs> there we go. Don't use that. Put it right in the trash. All right. Don't say I'm not a quick learner. I tell you. Okay. 
So we're going to do that. And now, but of course, for some of these too, like when I, when I see something like this, I think to myself, I just don't want to put glue on every little piece because I think that would be mind numbing. But on something like this too, I mean, I just want to show you, you can also do, no, oh, that's not, I think I have two glues and one of them's, no, that's my good one. Well, they're both good. You can also just do liquid glue. So I could just do a little, little guys here, right? And, you know, six of one, whatever you're feeling, whatever's your vibe. And this friend, Again, see that little out, see that little um, score line or die line or, you know, oh, thank you, TJ Hungry. It's, it's good to know because, you know, you're not, you know, you can't be for everybody, but you can be for some people. And I think that's all that matters. <laughs> okay. Actually, I need to have my brick here and press. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, welcome, Super Sanders 58. Oh, down in Melbourne. Good day. Good day. That, I cannot do an Aussie accent, but it is among my favorite accents in the world. All right. The next piece. Now, don't get, oh, Kathy, don't get so carried away here. The next piece I'm going to do, and it's kind of easy to tell how it works because this has a bit of an angle to it. And this is going to go behind, actually, but I just want to show you. This is going to go back here. Now, I could have done a different color for the background of my typewriter, but I just thought I'm, I'm you know, I'm just gonna keep it uh, purple. And so I here, this is where I do want liquid glue. I just saw someone from the Isle of Wight. Whenever I think of the Isle of Wight, I think of all the concerts. I feel like every time you turn on the TV, they're, they're playing like The Who live at the Isle of Wight. Is anyone, anyone, am I dating myself? Uh, did I watch Spurted? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I do not know what that is. What is Spurted? No. No. But can I tell you, while I'm gluing, what I think one of the best shows on television is. Hey, Brianne, good to see you here. Um, and I've been savoring it and waiting and not finishing it. In fact, I stopped watching it for several months because I couldn't bear the thought of it being over. Uh the Isle of Wight Festival. There you go. Spirited. No, I have not. Uh, but the show that I am obsessed with, and you should be too if you're not, is Better Things on FX. If there is a better show about middle-aged moms and girl daughters, and I think Pamela Adlon is a national treasure. She is a national treasure and she's brilliant. All right, we're gluing it down. See, you may pick up a craft tip, but if anything, you're going to walk away with at least one recommendation for TV show, <laughs> you know, and maybe an 80s reference. Oh, no spoiler. Ralph, hey, Ralph, you're here. Um, no spoilers here, but how many of you are watching that show on HBO called The Last of Us uh, based on that video game? And I'm, I'm not a gamer, but um, I know people who are. Uh, I watched it. And that's all I'm going to say, because I don't want I don't want to do spoilers. Yes, these bottles, I will say um, they're amazing. However, you have to clean them. And what I do is I keep a little undo on my desk all the time. This this goes back to my scrapbook days, you know, removing photos uh, from old magnetic albums. But this remover is kind of like Gooby Gone and it will clean. It will clean. So you can put a little on a paper towel and just kind of really wipe all the glue off the tip and keep it really nice like that. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's a good, it's good. It's, you know, I don't know if it's technically zombies though. It's something. Okay. Now, what, what is next? I got to get these other pieces here. And I'm doing this on paper just because, uh, well, you know. Oh, I did lose. Now, where did I put that, friend? Oh, there you are. Okay. So the next thing I want to put on, I think, I'm going to go with dark purple knobs. These are the little rollers. And you know what is kind of cool? It's like, um, you know, I come from a... I come from another time back when, you know, getting an electric typewriter was like the greatest thing for me as a young, as a young person who... Uh, I used to, I used to want to be a writer. That was, that was always the goal. And, uh, 
I had my electric typewriter and this kind of reminds me of that, right? Also want to show you there's a die in the set that cuts out your paper. See that square there? Okay, that cut out the paper and the paper is going to fit inside there because <laughs> that's typewriter. That's so cute. Okay, now I am going to put this here. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a game of operation. And I'm going to put the knobs on. Now I feel like I can put them low. So let's grab, we're, we're going to need liquid glue for this. And also welcome to everyone who's joining. Um, I see I see more, more folks out there. Um, and yes, Natalie, the white mat, right? I, I love this mat. And I think it's, it, it's been working great for me. I clean it every time I'm done with a video, by the way, no matter if I'm you know, live or not live. I learned about this from my friend Carissa Wiley. She has these little shiny spray bottles and I bought these uh, on her matte video and I put rubbing alcohol in it. And it is so great for uh, cleaning. Um, yes, it is called The Last of Us and it's fantastic. My daughter and I, that is going to be our Sunday night show. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Okay. This friend, I think I'm just going to put the knobs off to the side because, you know, you got to, I think, I think they go here. I don't know. I think you can, you can kind of do whatever you're going to do with this. You know what I mean? It, it's, you're going to have fun. You can make it as fancy as you want. I think I can do this with just my, my hands and not tweezers. But we're going to just hold that down for a second. Um, yes, the show is called, uh. I saw it pop up, <laughs> The Last of Us. Thank you, and based on a video game. Now, this little friend, I don't know which way it goes though, now I'm not sure. This is the part that like, you know the, you know how you hit it and it hits return and, and I, I wanna make sure I'm doing this right because this goes over here but I want to make sure that that's up high enough. Does it go up high? I'm not hundred percent sure, but here's what we're going to do. Or does it go this way? Go that way? I should, I should have known. I could look it up. Honestly, I could look it up, but I think carriage return. Does it go this way? Here's, here's, here's what's going to happen. This is the beautiful thing about having the internet right next to you is you can go to MFT stamps Let's see, you know, why not? Because we don't all know everything all the time. I'm just gonna look at their picture on their typewriter and I will tell you, there we go, typewriter bundle. It goes, well, I can't, well, I can't tell. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it here. All right, I have, I, it. you know what? It's gonna be just fine. Flip it, mirror, yeah. Well, they're showing it on the left now, Vicki, so I'm going to go here like that. Because, you know, you're typing, 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 and, and it gets, it goes that way, and then you grab it and you hit it back, right? Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to keep going. Okay. Now, I don't want to put any glue here because this part is, well, I guess I could do it on this side. This is where I'm go going with the liquid because I just want to make sure that it, adheres. Okay. Get a little here. And I don't want any on the little bars, but I did think it was clever of me. <laughs> I know. What did we do before the internet? Hey, Jennifer, my little friend. Hello, McGuire. You sneak in there, you sneaky Pete. Okay. This is going to go here. And I learned this from watching uh, Lydia Fiedler do this on the MFT channel. When, where you see the little notch, that friend lines up over here. Now, this is going to be good enough, right? Because, and then this guy drops down over here. And again, we're going to press. Press. Okay. Now, we got our little, we got our little guys in there. Okay, so how cool is that? Don't glue. Oh, get up. Don't stick. Okay. So there's our typewriter. Now, we're gonna put a note in. Oh wait, there's one more piece. Actually, I do have glue back here. See these little purple friends? I am going to put those right on, you know where the rubber rollers would go? Let's zoom in a little, okay. Put it on the right, okay. 
you know, it, it, here's the thing. I think it's going to be fine. What, what, what are you going to do? Okay. Considering how my video started out, we should be shocked that I'm even still standing up. Okay. Get on there. There we go. See, this is what I do every time. I give it a good wipe. I even sacrifice part of my manicure for it because I want to make sure that I just keep the tip clean. Now, let me get my pick and stick. All right. And we're going to take this and just add it so the little rubber baby buggy bumpers are in dark purple. Cute, huh? Look at that. Uh-huh. The things that hold our paper down like... Oh, come on, it's so delicate. There we go. And press. Very detailed. See, this is why I had to do it. Um, I, I had some extra pieces. You can even put this on there too. In fact, I guess I could. There's one more piece, don't stick. And I can do this little detail right there. Well, let's actually lace it. There we go. Okay, plug that back in and why, thank you, Kate. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself too. <laughs> uh, and pop that there just for a little, little detail, just for a little, you know, a little something, something. Okay, now let's move on to the stamping. Let me grab my Misty. And, oh, I need some ink too. All right, got a couple things here and let's zoom out a little. Oh yes, I would like to say, I just saw Vicki said that, um, Jennifer McGuire, <laughs> he made me buy all of Gina's, Gina K had a release last night and she has these new uh, poly, why can't I think of the name, poly, they're new foiling things and they're so cool and I ordered all of them. I ordered all of them and I ordered the kit. I just was like, I don't care. You know what? I don't care. Sometimes you do that and that's not necessarily a way to live your life, but you know what? It's what I did this morning. I woke up. Gina's sight was working like a like a like a bird. <laughs> polyglaze. Thank you, Jennifer. And I just went and I'm like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. So I ordered the polyglaze sheets. Mostly because I have so many fancy foils and so much deco foil. So much deco foil. And I feel bad, like not using it. And so, oops, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to playing with that. And, uh, all right. Typewriter. So cute. Setting it aside. Now we need greetings and we need our little piece of paper because this is going to be, well, I guess I should figure out exactly how high up I want it to be. Now. Yes. Again, you can do this and have it all set up as like an element, um, you know, like a pull thing. But again, like I said, that, that's Jennifer's thing. Jennifer does the interactive. Other people, that would have taken me far too long to figure out. And that's okay. That's okay. You know, there's time. God willing, I'm alive for many more years. I can, I can do an interactive element. Okay. Now I think these are so cute. I'm going to come back in a minute so you can, I just think these are great little greetings. And I love I love a typewriter set and I actually think I love old and obsolete vintage and cool. Um, this would make a great birthday card and I'm trying to think who has a birthday coming up. You know what? I'm going to do that one. I don't have enough birthday cards and um, I know this because I recently have been organizing in my closet and uh, I realized how few birthday cards I have. So let's get this set up. I can't see a thing. All right. Don't lose your typewriter calf. Okay. Coming on in. Now I'm just going to pop it. I do want this to be straight and I should have a, one of those like grids. Actually, no, no, no. Just ignore. Ignore me. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're putting it right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Picking it up. Thank you, Joan. <laughs> I like to think I'm fun, you know. Again, not everyone's cup of tea, but not everybody drinks tea. I drink tea. I love tea. I just haven't had it in a while. Um, Kathleen, this set is from MFT Stamps, and it is called uh, 
typewriter sentiments friendship and the thing is i've seen i saw some cute samples on their site that just had uh just this as a greeting not with the typewriter but we're gonna we're gonna use some of our epithelial cells here okay i, I don't know oh i also ordered myself a new tidy towel i'm looking forward to trying that new one and and yeah i ordered genus kit just because it just looked way too fun so all right we're going to use Memento Tuxedo Black, and we're just going to, you know, because back in the day, I mean, do you remember with electric typewriters when you got the option to print with like a red ball or a green ball? That was like the greatest thing. You can imagine how excited I was in college right towards the end when the Max came out and you could start doing stuff. Uh, you could start doing stuff. Uh, with a computer in multiple styles and yeah. Uh, Michelle, the kit I used was Gina's latest kit and it's called, I don't know. <laughs> I'll put a link, link to Gina's kit. It's called Lovely Something. I don't know, this looks perfect. Also, I had to show you, I'm testing out one of these because as much as I love my Beloved, uh, Debbie Tool, Deb's taken a, a break from her shop. And so I, Lovely Notes. Thank you. The kit is called Lovely Notes. I'm actually trying out this little friend of a Stampin' Bug and it, it's cute. It's, it's very purpley. Look at that. I love it. Okay. I think this looks great. Someone asked me today also where I got this and I, I meant to respond. But I got it from Simon Says Stamp because I had seen this on someone else's channel years ago. And I said to Simon, can we get some of these? And they said, yes. And I said, okay, cool. I love it. All right. Now, I'm gonna put, see, this is going to be, this is kind of a quick card today. I think I did have more of a plan going in just because I, I die cut some things. But here's what we're going to do. Move you. Move Oh, no, not you. Okay. Now here's our note. Isn't that cute? So sweet. Old and obsolete. No, vintage and cool. That's me. Oh, that's what I hope to be. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. Now, before I assemble anything, I'm going to show you my paper again, and I'm just going to pull it out. And again, I wish, I wish these, um, were available but you know anything if you go to the simon store and anything that you see that you might want and if it's not there just and look at that side they're just i mean that's just gorgeous anyway you can always hit the notify me and as soon as that product is back in stock you will get an email um i do that too all the time when there's something that you know i like i said i jumped on this right away and i thought to myself well you know what you're not gonna, you're not gonna sleep on that. And I didn't. So, so here's what's gonna happen. This little friend is gonna slide in there. Look how cute that is. I mean, it's so stinking cute. Now I want to center it and I think I'll just take some purple tape. Oh, they do. Okay. Make, um, well, I usually try to link not to Amazon for, uh, you know, just mostly to, to support small businesses. And uh, I know Amazon doesn't really need a lot of help. <laughs> I mean, I use Amazon too, but I always, I always look for the small moms and pops, you know? Okay. I am going to put some foam tape on this though, because, well, but I don't want it to be very big. Let's see. Let's see here. All right. Flipping it over. I know this paper, right? It totally... It totally makes the card. And that's what I was thinking. Um, I've been waiting to use it. And yeah, I just uh, <laughs> just finally got the chance. Okay, we're going to take some foam tape. I actually need to order some more of this too. This, I've I've kind of really been digging this Ulta New tape. And it's, uh, well, let's see, is that going to be big enough? I don't really need to do, I just want to give my typewriter some support. And I think... Let's cut a little piece here. I think it will fit right here, won't it? Let's see. Got to, got to turn it around. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go like this. There we go. Just to make sure 
it's a little thinner. But now everything's held into place. And oh, it's just so cool. Is that funky? Okay, I keep hitting something under my desk. It's bugging me. Now, here's what we need to do. Let's put these things away. And also, if you're just joining, I mean, you, you, haven't, <laughs> you haven't missed much. I just, yeah, I just did that. So we're going to take a die. Now, here's the thing. Oh, I, yeah, you know what? This is going to be one of those cards that has, okay, I feel like I want to get a little of everything here on this panel, but I might need to go to the largest one. And I wasn't expecting to do that. The largest die in the A2 layers, and I'm not 100% sure on this, is this, it's four inches by five and a quarter. So this will, this will work nicely on a note card with just ever so slightly, oh, let's go blade side down, uh, having, you know, a little margin. I think I'm going to do that. Am I going to write in all the letters? <laughs> no. And see, you again, you could do a little, I mean, it'd be very cute because I used a little matte silver. It'd be cute to pop in little silver keys. Now, if I really liked you, I might do that. <laughs> no, just kidding. I would, you know. Okay, let's let's just cut this like that because that's kind of the crop I want. I want to have a little bit of it all over. Oh, landscape. Eh, you know, it's so funny. In my mind, because I had this in my brain, I think I gotta go land. I think I gotta keep it. It's it's so hard sometimes. I think you, it's so hard. It's so hard, you guys. Um, when you have an idea and then you depart from it, I'm I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. it it'll, it'll all come together. Okay. Now, yeah, seriously, the paper again. I'm sure they're gonna get it back in stock. And uh, there you go. All right, we're gonna set you aside, and let's bring this friend over. You know what? I'm going to cut this off the side like this. I just, I want to be able to angle my die going through a little bit more. And I'll just, oh, look at that. I'm going to give that to Dan as a bookmark. Oh, and I'm going to tell him, honey, I made that for you. Okay. We'll see if he, uh, seriously, he would love it. He would love it. Okay. Plate on. Now, Jennifer, are you out there? Because here's the thing, this plate sandwich that I learned from Jennifer is the best plate sandwich in all the land. Jennifer, I think you should do a short about these plates because this changed my life with how straight they are, how well they cut. It's fantastic. I, It's two clear plates from Gemini Jr. and two of the double-sided die plates. Brilliant. Brilliant. Jennifer, do it. Just do a short on this. People would love it. Because every time I mention that, okay, I'm flipping it this side, blade side up. Well, I know, but I, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it. Let's go to the die cut cam. Hello, we've missed you. See, that could be the Empress cam. All right. Oh. Also, the number one question that I get on my channel, no two doubts about it, is where'd you get that? And this is called a rotating design board from Cra uh, Crafter's Companion, and or no, Totally Tiffany, who is owned by Crafter's Companion. Anyway, it comes with a clip on it. You just take the clip off. You literally unclip it, and it becomes the perfect uh, Lazy Susan for your space. I love it, 100%. 10 out of 10 stars, highly recommend. Okay. And with these plates, of course, you cut into the same all the time. Now check this out. I just have to show you. So I have, I'm almost ready to change the plate, but I am always cutting into this plate and I've already flipped it once. You can see on the back, well, the green. You just flip them, untape them, but you're always cutting into the same. That was a boo-boo, and you keep this one smooth, cut, good, and again, look at how, look at that. Did I? That's why I don't know if I want to switch. I, why would I switch to an Empress? Although, do the Empress plates stay um, flat? Because this blows my 
socks off. Okay. Now, let me get some cardstock. I haven't prepared. Have I prepared? Oh, I, well, I guess sort of. Okay. I have a piece here. I wasn't sure if I had prepared. You know, sometimes I do a little prep work and sometimes I don't. But let's get our score pal, our buddy, or my little score friend. I don't know. You know, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. They do stay flat. Okay. All right, maybe I'll look into it. I mean, I like Anna Griffin. True story, I know Anna Griffin from the old days. Like she was the nicest person. I used to see her at trade shows, like back in the day, like 2004, 2005. And I remember her just being the nicest person. I don't know, I don't know if Anna would remember me today, but if she did, I'd be like, hey Anna, how are you? Okay, this is 11 inches by four and a quarter. See, I don't have a lot of social skills. Hi, how are you? Okay, bye. Okay, we're gonna score at five and a half. Like this, all right. Now, Teflon bone folder, get you out of the way. Uh, okay, people are talking good things. I mean, you know, when Jennifer tells me something, nine out of 10 times, okay, let's be real. 10 out of 10 th times I listen and I say, yes, Jennifer, because she does test things out more than any person that I know. And uh, if she says the Empress is great, it's great. Oh, the cuddle bug. Gosh, you know what that reminds me of? The cuddle bug rem just reminds me of all the old Gina K videos that I spent hours and hours. And even to this day, sometimes I go back and I watch some of Gina's old videos because I love stamp TV. I just... Love her so much. She's just she's just good people. Now the reason I'm doing this, number one, I like to waste tape. Okay, you have to have some vices in life. I don't smoke. I don't really drink. Well, okay, that's a lie. But I don't drink a lot. So one of my vices is I use tape. I I'm an over adhesor, and uh, I'm okay with that because with the glass, this needs to stay. It needs to stay, stay. Okay. I think this is so simple, but okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna add, <laughs> look how pretty that side is. I'm going to add some foam tape to this as well. This is such a simple card. Jennifer, when are we gonna, when I figure out how to do interview stuff, do you wanna do a live with me where you just tell me what to make? <laughs> yeah, I think you do. I think you do. And then we're gonna, you know, we would have fun. We would have fun. Or we would just, pick something, we, we we make plans, but like all good introverts, we don't always follow through. It's kind of like, oh, I'd love to see you. Yeah, let's make plans. Six months later, you know, oh, sorry, forgot, forgot to book that. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. This is where I love to be, you know? Okay, see that, see that nice? Now I don't do margins that narrow. I don't, not very often, but today it feels like anything is possible. That also isn't true. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes when I see things like, you can do anything if you believe, or if you work hard enough, you can't fly without like a jetpack. Do you know what I mean? You can't literally take off the ground like a bird and fly. That's all I'm saying, okay. Now let's just stand up here because I'm a little nervous that I'm, I'm going to get my head in the way. Channel Gina. Focus on the top. Oh, let's see. Like that. Oh, Kathy, don't mess it up. I think that's good enough. I did pretty good. That's pretty good. And if you're just joining, this is just a really fancy alcohol blend that I did. I'm just kidding. I did. Did not do that at all. No, if you're just joining, it is the most amazing pattern paper. It is sold out right now. They will get back in stock. Click, wait, click notify me. I mean, I could just do that all day. And who's to say that's not what I was doing today? You know what I mean? Okay, let's pop on this. Now, it's just very simple, but I think this would make a great birthday card. Great birthday card, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. I don't... 
that's great. There's all kinds of sayings that I could be doing that I am not doing. All right, now we are going liquid glue here. I know some people get nervous when I do it over, you know, over the card, so I'm gonna stick to the side here. Hey, we have 500 people, 500 of you. Thank you so much, thanks for being here. Also, if this is your first time catching me, this is not like every video on my channel. Most videos are edited, though I do film them 99% of them lately, I do film live so that you get the ambient sound of card baking. Cause I'm, cause I'm a fan of sounds. I love ASMR. I know it's a little weird, but I do. And I like the sounds of things, but most of my videos are heavily edited and you do not have me, you know, riffing about, you know, random things. Okay. We're going to go side to side, top to bottom and release and that's it. I think that's good enough, close enough. Yeah, Woo. there's my typewriter. Now I do think it would be very cute to piece in metallic paper in for the keys and the bottom. Oh shoot. Cause if I did that, um, <laughs> Lila's into ASMR? Oh, that makes me so happy. You know what? Let me grab a scrap of paper because we have time. Let me see here. Okay. All right. I have my bin, okay? I love this bin. Let's pick you up now that I don't need to worry about centering. Uh, because I have time, I'm going to do it, and then we're going to talk. We're going to talk about things. Now, in here, um, this is my little, well, let's zoom out a bit, my little IKEA Variera bin. And I have a blog post where you can download these. I mean, basically learn this from Jennifer. You know, you type something and you laminate it and then you cut it down and you stick it in a bin. That's that's Jennifer McGuire, vintage. That's a vintage goat. So I do this, but I, yeah, you can have this, these printables. They're super easy. But in my specialty scraps, um, I need a bigger piece. Okay, let me grab a bigger piece. I always check my scraps first. Right. But here I have, and I should cut it with a paper trimmer, um, but I don't have the one I need, so let's grab this. Um, I don't like to have wonky scraps if I can avoid it. That is where I might be just a little titch on the and retentive side. There we go. Pop this back in my pocket. Okay, we're gonna throw you on the ground, put you back where you belong, and I'm going to save this scrap as soon as I get the die back out. Where did I put it? Here we go. I'm just gonna pop the innards. I'm gonna pop the innards, you know? Okay. All right, go like that. I'm gonna cut this and we'll cut it out. That way, well, I guess that's wasting paper, but you know what? This I'll put back in my bin. I should set that somewhere where I will not accidentally recycle it. And let's get our plates. Now this could be annoying, but I think it's gonna be kind of cute, all right? And then we'll have a, a finished card that has just a bit more to it. So back to die cut cam. Uh, yeah, this time I'll go that side up. Got another with the white keys. And back at the silver, it'll say, I, I, what? Okay. I don't understand that. Die cut another with white keys and die cut the back with silver. Oh! Wait a second. That is, wait, but wait, but then it will cut, but it cuts all of them out at once. Do you know what I mean? Like there is no way to back it. Ugh. I would have to hand trim this. Does that make sense? Because there's no just shape of this for the background. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I just lost some of my, my keys. <laughs> This is what happens. Comments are like, ooh, shiny things. Shiny things. Okay. Let's just pop this right now. And I'm going to use this little area over here as a staging area. 
and let's get you off here here because I think this is yeah I think it's about the same the platform from a Gemini is so cool see where did you find that well I do have it linked in my description it is called a rotating design board it is from crafters companion and it's basically meant for sketching and drawing and painting so you can turn your paper trace on silver and you can yeah but then I would have to cut out the scrap I don't know I like the idea of popping them in is that is that just crazy maybe a little I'll tell you stories while we do it let's just get all these over here <laughs> come on come on now come on get off there see as your plate gets more uh, jumbled things get <laughs> stickier and then you muck up your manicure and that's okay, that's okay. You could do tiny gems in here too, but check it out. This is not as, as uh, what's the word? It's not as painful as you would think. Um, but yes, trace on silver, I just, it's a lot of popping. I'm not gonna boop on this either, but check it out. It's not, it's not that painful. We go liquid glue, like that, that, that. I'll do these first, okay. Picking you up, uh, yep, and going in. Plus the thing is, okay, now I might be weird. <laughs> that, that may not be up for debate, um, but I actually enjoy some paper piecing. Not all, but this one I do. Oh, <laughs> except for, this isn't quite the same as using a, a jewel picker for gems but it actually, this pick and stick does work pretty well. Okay, yeah, it, it, it is, because this actually gives you a little texture and that's just a little stepped up, you know what I mean? Look at that. Now, all I need to do, I'm not gonna worry about flipping these yet, I'm gonna do a row at a time, and glue, 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 glue. The nice thing is too, you can actually keep Gina's glue Oh, I'm getting not centered. Um, it, it gets tackier, right? So you just, you know, just let it sit. Let it sit and then go one at a time in. See, I like it. I like doing it. But it's so funny. If you had told me, again, five years ago that I would be doing this, I, I don't know. But I love it. I love it so much. Like, it's the most therapeutic, relaxing thing it lets me play with design and on a small little canvas and it just it's just so good so good all right and now okay the, the easy ones are in right now let's just see if I can get uh, also what's gonna suck I'm just gonna see if I can flip some by getting them out here oh yeah you just you know you're hoping that a few flip look at that only four Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I have one in there too. I just think, oh, stick and press. So not so bad. I mean, if this was for someone that you really liked, you would, you would go the extra mile, right? Would you go the extra mile? I would, because I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna give them a present. Let's be real, this is the present, <laughs> you know. What, <laughs> you were looking for something else? Um, Take another look at the card. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, um, we'll just flip. Oh, come on now, flipping, flippity gibbet. Oh, that was a lucky one. I should buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> should have bought one last week. Um, I heard that one person won all that money and you know, good for them. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I would, I don't know, I, I don't know. Lotteries kind of confuse me and I think that my life would, I wouldn't want my life to change. You know what? I have enough. I have enough, but I'm very lucky to be able to say that. So if I wanted, I would give it away. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'd buy a Maserati and I'd have a house made out of glass, all glass. Um, actually, that's not true. Okay. We're, we're making it. We're almost there. We're almost there. And... So really, I mean, look at the time. I'm gonna finish on time today, and then I'm gonna press these in, right? Kind of give them that little press. 
I think this is going to be very cute. Okay. All right. They make a difference. And yes, the gift of time. You know what? That's really, that's, that's the lottery I would like to win. More time on earth. Because it's a pretty good place to be. All right. Let's go. Oh, get in there and press. Mm -hmm. So cute. You know, paper piecing isn't something that I really thought I would ever do. And boy, let me tell you, uh, there might be more in my future. Okay, we're, we're still flipping. I think I lost some. Well, let's see. I've got one in there. Math is not my strong suit, and that's okay. I'm good at other things. Pick you up. There we go. There we go. Flippity gibbet. I think I am going to be one short, aren't I? Nine, two, three. No, get in there. No, I'm good. Okay. Nope. Nope, I'm not good. I'm, I'm concentrating. Paula, you do remember CKU. Yep, those were the days. I have a funny story about Lisa Bernson. And I'm not really too... I just lost one. Um, where did it go? <laughs> Literally just went flying. Um, my funny story about Lisa is I, uh, when I started teaching at CKU, I, I was young, I was an ingenue and I'm going to have to cut some more cause I have no idea what I did with the others. Um, and let's just grab another little tiny piece. I had one. Here we go. I'm going to cut just a few more. And I was at, um, <laughs> I was at a CKU. I'm sure they're somewhere here and it's okay. It's okay. And I was teaching and I, I introduced myself to her and, and, she, and I met Lisa Burnson because that was a big deal. Cause she was, you know, she was the owner of CKU. <laughs> the next CKU I went to, let me run this through that I, that I was teaching at. Um, I saw Lisa Burnson. And I introduced myself to her a second time. That was nice to meet her. The third CKU that I went to, she just didn't, I guess I wasn't memorable because she never remembered who I was. And then I did it like the fourth time and she said, I know who you are. That's my story. Oh, But I did, you know what? I did the same thing with Tim Holtz. I kept telling Tim, hi, I'm Kathy Zilski. He's like, I know who you are. We've known each other for years. I'm like, okay, that was at CKU. Um, all right, now I'm going to do a gentle, gentle little press in. And my friends, look at my keys. That is my finished card project. Hey! Oh, Jennifer said, okay. Just was like, I, I also remember going to a trade show. I feel like it was the last one I went to, the last... Uh, Anaheim trade show and Jennifer you were in a corner of some booth and I walked in and I'm standing there and I hear this something like I don't know if you said hey stranger or hey you and I looked down and there's Jennifer sitting in the corner of a booth do you remember that and I was like oh my gosh Jennifer Hall of Fame glory okay now I have all kinds of these so that's the finished card and I just think it's very cute now something like this I wouldn't I'm not gonna put any uh bling on it because it's already got enough bling right and that pattern paper what mft comes up with some of the cutest little dies and as a product designer i don't know how i wouldn't know how to do this so i absolutely love it and you are always hiding i just don't even go see i don't leave the house so i don't have to worry about uh, the hiding factor but there we go now let's see if i can manage to go into our little split screen. Now there's gonna be all of them, so hold tight, cause I'm gonna to have to get rid of all that one. There we go. Okay, whoo, I didn't even have to pull my hair back so you can see how lovely it is today. Oh, let's get the extra me off. Come here, Kathy, get out of there. Get out of there, there we go. And bye-bye. Yeah, there we go. So that's our finished card. Anyway, uh, let's, have a, let's have a drink. LaCroix, sponsored by LaCroix. Mm. Only lime. That's all that makes it in here. So 
Does anyone have any questions for me that I can answer? I know, Carissa, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I just got some cut off. Um, you know, it's a, it's a whole new world. But I'm, I, if, you, if you joined late, Head & Shoulders is my new favorite shampoo. I kid you not. Spent a lot of money on Aveda. Spent a lot of money on JVN. I still like some of those products. But Head & Shoulders changed my hair. Look at this. It's Head & Shoulders. And it wasn't because I had dandruff. It's just because it smells so good. I did make the whole card with my hair down. Just so you know, that will never happen. Um, oh, Linda, I'm going to pop that up. That would never happen uh, in the summer because I'm going to basically be uh, I'm going to be crafting in my bathing suit, which will be interesting. CKU was an event called Creating Keepsakes University that was put on by Creating Keepsakes magazine. And it was basically like, you know, like the online card events you go to now. That was what it was in person for scrapbooking. And they were glorious in their heyday. Um, and Tim Holtz would always teach at a CKU. Um, Jennifer, did you ever teach at CKU? I did. And it was literally, that's why I don't travel and teach anymore. Not that they were bad people to work with. They were great. Um, but I I cannot do the uh, the in-person stuff. It's it's too much for me. I, the, the lack of sleep, even when I start thinking about those days, I have like nightmares about teaching at CKU where I show up unprepared. Um, my laptop. Oh yeah. Allie Edwards. That's how I know Allie. Like we all go back to that glorious heyday of education in, in crafting. And, uh, it was really, really fun. Um, to be an attendee, not to be an instructor. So that was CKU. Ah, <sighs> okay. Jennifer taught it many too. Yeah. And did you like it? Because <laughs> it surprises me that you would, you know, just the in-person thing. So, mm. Carrie, are we getting snow yet? No, no. But that reminds me, my son has to move his car off the street because they're doing another plow tonight because it was so bad with the meltage that our streets basically look like, I mean, they're just mush. They're just mush. And, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't like them, but, oh, 11 PM. Yes, Natalie, have, have, have wine. Barbara wants to know how I get over dyes with lots of pieces. Okay. Honestly, Barbara, this is not my usual go-to. Sometimes when I see a dye that's super PC, I just don't. But because this was so cute, I couldn't resist. Like I thought to myself, I have to make a typewriter. So yeah, but here's the thing too. I'm doing Spellbinders uh, once a month and they have a lot of pieces and that is a challenge for me. So I'll let you know how it goes. I'll let you know. Uh, TJ wants to know how many people were in the room. So when I would teach a class, I think it was like up to 200 in a room tops if I got the lecture hall. And I didn't teach technique classes. I always taught graphic design lecture theory classes about scrapbooking. They were I, I did like the concept a lot. I taught design principles for scrapbookers. So maybe 150 people, but then there'd be the big opening night and that would be a whole bunch of people, like seven, 657, but I'd never talked in those. I just stood in the front and clapped and wore my little uh, CKU t-shirt and I had a really small chest and I wore khakis. So, you know, that was my, that was how I did. Um, yeah, it was, it was good education. Anywho, um, I'm just looking for any more questions. Oh, Vicki. No, I don't. And I didn't even know there was a new one coming until I, I was, uh, I think I was on Instagram and I saw it. So no, I do not know. No, I do not have it. And, uh, but I'm excited because I have room. <laughs> I have room in my ink chart. So Tim, I know you're not watching, but I have room. Uh, okay. But yes, not a snowstorm yet. New to card making. What do I use for envelopes? Oh, that reminds me. There is a great video that my friend Christina Warner just did. Christina envelopes. She has a video all on envelopes. And if you go to Christina Warner's uh, YouTube channel, I think it's literally one of the last that she did. And it's great because it's all about envelopes and I will tell you, because when I was new to card making, Jana, I, I'm going to pop you up here. I had no idea. Like, what, a, what 
I didn't know what size cards were supposed to be. Like, I think the first card I made is a square that's like three and a half inches square. I didn't know. So Jana, check out Christina Warner. I'm going to add a link to all the things that I remember here. I'm, I'm linking to two of Christina's videos, um, but I will do that uh, and check it out because it's not only talking about the different types of envelopes and where to get envelopes, but even making your own, which can be so, so fun. All right. And yeah, Jennifer's right. They were, you know, they were about 100 to 200. A lot of people. Good people, though. Good people. Oh, my gosh, Catherine, you did? Oh, wow. Yeah. And Heidi, yeah, well, Jennifer was teaching long before I was, I think. I think, Jennifer. Um, Because I don't think I started until, well, after the Hall of Fame. After the Hall of Fame thing that, um, that Jennifer and I were both members of. Thank you. Um, there you go. And Heidi Swap, who was always legendary. Loved, loved, loved working with Heidi. She was great. I was teaching at an event once with Heidi and, um, I, I got a massage with her and I couldn't breathe because I didn't know with the massage, you have to lay face down and put your head in a donut. Never did that again. Heidi loved it though. And it was a delightful company. Anywho, well, I think we're, we're all good. Yes, Christina's video, so good. Um, well, I want to thank you all for joining me today for this live. My goodness, we have 515 people. Thank you so much. Wait, you slept in your room, the hotel. Wait, you, Amy Smith, you slept in my room. <laughs> now I'm a little confused. You'll have to DM me. I barely remember that, or unless that was Jennifer, but you never know. Oh, Kelly. Kelly, you're always giving me the super chats. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, yep, there you go. Anyway, thank you for being here today. I will have a premiere tomorrow at 11 before Gina's afternoon live. I'm going to uh, premiere a video sharing my new release for Simon. It's not, I don't have a ton of things this time. It's a stamp set, a couple dies. They're very cute. I do have it on good authority that Jennifer McGuire said she loves it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so, yes, I'll be tomorrow at 11 o'clock. There's, it's already posted. You can set a reminder. I'll be chatting live in the comments. I'll have a newsletter coming out tonight at midnight. And yeah, other than that, that's what we got. Look, I made it through with my long hair. I'm so proud of me. Uh, Thanks for watching. Again, if you have a chance to hit the like button, if you have a chance to do that, it helps my channel immensely. Just watching helps my channel. And of course, if you see anything, I have all the supplies linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching everyone. And I will see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.